Hello everyone, this is Chris Burns from Android Community. We're taking a look at two of the newest tablets about to be coming out on the market. They're both from Samsung, they're both Galaxy Tab devices. Uh, both of them are very thin. This is the one that is called the Galaxy Tab 8.9. It weighs approximately 470 grams. This one is the Galaxy Tab 10.1. It is, weighs slightly more at 595 grams. Uh, they look very plain from the front. You can see the light sensors right here. Uh, you can see that there's a headphone jack on the top, several buttons we'll get into in a moment, and a very simple design in the back with Samsung front and center. Um, the other device we've got here, the other tablet I should say, uh, is very similar. There's only a few differences we'll get into in one moment. Uh, you can see that they're very similar in, in both form and similar in size. Um, they're both exactly the same uh, thickness, as you can see right there. Um, the only difference that we know about at the moment is that this one has surround sound. It has uh, speakers in several places that make it more of an entertainment device that you'll be using in your home or on the go to watch movies and such like that. Um, the, uh, what we know about the, the release dates of these is we do not know when they'll be released uh, for 4G, but we do know when they'll be released for Wi-Fi, which is later this summer. Um, one of the things we can tell you about them as well is that we can go through the. Let's go through the buttons here quickly. Uh, got the volume dongle right on there. You got the micro SD chip right here. We can pop that out if we can. Well, we can't. <laughs> we got the headphone jack right in the front and top right here. We have a, a single flash camera on the back. That's uh, five megapixels. Uh, we have a, th a two megapixel camera on the front here. The same for this device. Um, we got the power button right on top there. We got a single connection on the bottom. We got this one of the speakers right here. Now this, as you notice, there's not this speaker on this one because this is the one with the surround sound, the Tempo one. Uh, I got the surround sound speaker on the other side right there. And they are quite simple. Now, if you want to check out what they'll be in direct competition with, you can move right over to here and see this is the brand new iPad. Now, let's right away check how similar they are in thickness. Now you can see it does appear that they are extremely similar. We're not going to be able to, to uh, measure them at the moment, but they are very obviously going into direct competition with the iPad. Now, the only other tablet we know of that will be competing with these uh, as far as honeycomb goes is the Motorola Zoom tablet. Now, as far as weight goes, it's, this one's very obviously heavier. Uh, it's, it's not the heaviest. I mean, if you had both of these devices in your ownership, you'd notice the difference. If you brought both of them home at separate times, you might not notice the difference that way. Uh, the thickness is, you know, essentially no contest there. Um, they both feature Android 3.0 Honeycomb, uh, but when you bring these home, when you purchase them in summer or later this later this year, you'll be getting a full honeycomb experience, but you'll be able to get an upgrade to TouchWiz. Now, what we know is that you do not have to get the TouchWiz experience upgrade uh, down, the, down the line, but you will have the option. Now, the cool thing that we've been told about TouchWiz for both of these devices is that it's going to be the first uh, touch. It's going to be the first experience that is optimized directly for the tablet. That isn't just Honeycomb. It's going to be an over. It's going to be a user, inter user interface made for the tablet for Android, but it's not going to. It's going to be over Honeycomb, made made to to bring you into basically a whole new age of tablet using. So it's going to be quite amazing. Um, as far as battery life, we know that they all both have very similar batteries. They're somewhere around uh, 1,600 milliamp milliamps. Uh, both of them will have. What they're, what they're, what they're, t they're telling us is uh, approximately 10 hours, if I'm not mistaken, of video, um, which is, if, if that's compared to our Motorola Zoom tablet, which we've been using recently, that's sort of comparable, but uh, as you know, we've been using Motorola Zoom quite often lately, and it's been going for hours and hours and hours and hours, so we're going to be really interested to check the battery life in both of these. Um, we don't know, again, we, won't, we don't know when the, either of these will be released uh, on 4G, but we do know 
that they will be released, uh, just the Wi-Fi versions will be released sometime later this summer. An interesting fact is that this is the thinnest, one of the thinnest objects that Samsung owns at 8.6 millimeters. Uh, the only object, the, the only device that they own, not that they own, that they create, uh, that's thinner uh, in, in hand form is the uh, Samsung Galaxy S2, which is 8.46. So, it's quite obviously the thinnest tablet or one of the thinnest tablets on the market, and it's getting down to hand size, hand handset size. So it's pretty amazing. Extremely thin, extremely light.